Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to properly make use of polygon displacement textures in Cinema 4D with the physical renderer. Before we get started, let's take a look at the material we'll be using. It's Ground Asphalt Broken 001 and is easily one of my favorite ground textures here at Polygon. Um, it's brilliant for demonstrating this displacement, which is why I picked it. <laughs> um, I've already got the 4K version saved to my hard drive and I'll include a link um, below the video. As a note, uh, I would recommend getting the, the 4K version if you're going to be following along because with displacement you really do want as much detail from the texture as possible. So let's take a look at what it is we're going to be doing. You've probably heard of a bump map before which is used to artificially give the impression of height in a material. Well a displacement map is different. It is used to literally deform the object based on the values of the texture with the black areas being the deep crevices and the white areas being the peaks. It results in a far more realistic material. Okay, so let's look at pulling this effect off in Cinema 4D with the physical renderer. This is the scene we'll be using today. It's a simple scene, just a plane, uh, some HDR lighting, and that is about it. So let's get started by bringing in the material. I'm gonna go down to the Polygon Material Converter. I covered this in a previous video, but I'll include a link to that below. But for now, let's just go grab the material, which is Ground Asphalt Broken 001. Hit OK and convert. And that brings the material into Cinema 4D. Now I'll just drag it and assign it to this plane. Uh, and I'm also going to up the tiling just a little to something like that. Yeah, that'll work nice for us. Um, and then I'm just going to bring in this uh, viewport camera a little bit closer so we can get a render out of this and uh, see what's what it looks like by default. So yeah, let's go. In fact, no, let's not. <laughs> First, I'm going to quickly um, just lower the quality to medium so we don't spend too long rendering. OK. OK, so by default, the uh, the result isn't too bad. There's definitely a little bit of displacement going on. Um, it's better than just a, a flat surface anyway. Um, but with displacement, depending on the material, you're always going to want to adjust the settings a little bit and, and certainly in this one we want to we want to adjust them quite a bit so let's take a look at doing that I'm going to go into the material itself I'll just use the, the panel down here and um, go over to the displacement tab and all of the displacement related stuff is all here um, and you can see it's got the, the displacement material loaded um, yeah so the, the two things that we're going to be adjusting the most is going to be this height value here which uh, is the amount of displacement and also the subdivision level now with displacement you what what it what it does is literally displace the physical mesh and um, so if you don't have enough geometry to work with it's not going to have anything to displace and what subdivision does is give you more geometry the downside of increasing it is that the more you increase it, the more geometry is being used and the more of a tax it's going to be on your system and on render times. Uh, so you do need to bear that in mind and kind of balance it um, for, for the project that you're working on. So uh, four is definitely not enough for us. I'm gonna go for something quite high, uh, like 10. Um, you shouldn't need to do that on a lot of our materials, but on something like this, where there's a lot of big variation uh, in height through the different parts of the material, we, uh, we want that pretty high. And as for the height, I'm going to put that up to, let's say, five centimeters. Yeah, I think that should work pretty well for us. So let's give that a render and uh, compare the difference. And there we go. So yeah, quite <laughs> quite a bit of difference. If we compare that with the previous render, um, <laughs> we've really made that, that pop out of the floor. And I think those values are about right for this sort of material. Um, it's worth noting, you could also go down the route of adding in a, uh, a subsurface division uh, and making the plane apparent of it. And then you can use this uh, to control the, the level of subdivision as well. Um, and it, it, there's some more advanced options like the, the adaptive one, which will uh, allow you to do it based on, on the the edge length in, in pixels and whatnot which uh, can offer some performance enhancements um, but the upside of use ooh, didn't want to do that the upside of keeping that within the uh, the or, or just using the material settings is 
it will affect any surface that it's put on yeah whereas if you are using a subsurface displacement you then have to do it per model and, uh, and whatnot so uh yeah you, you you do have two routes to go down but that is pretty much it for a displacement with a physical renderer so in summary, we've taken a material from Polygon.com, brought it into Cinema 4D using the Material Converter, played around with the physical renderer's displacement settings to get the result that we were looking for, and then rendered it out with the physical renderer.